from the black hospital. By that time, it's through those experiences that I think have now led, led over from us losing the land, us losing, like I say, you know, Big Mama's house, us now not being as engaged in the home buying process and why maybe our, you know, our black men are last. And, you know, we have a lot of psychological trauma damage in our community that's been passed down from generation to generation from slavery on down. Uh, I always think about how those things kind of correlate together. Not understanding from one generation to the next, even though the actual situation we may be in may change, but the trauma is what I feel like is staying the same to continue to making us make those same mistakes over and over over again, just in different ways, where it's affecting us, you know, all the same, and holding us back from a community standpoint and being able to grow as a community. Because if I don't, like you said, if I don't own the land and I can't get financing for the land, that means I can't produce nothing from the land. Well, mm -hmm. in our minds, why have the land? You know, the land is not beneficial. Mm -hmm. when, you know, it's not that the land isn't beneficial, right. it's just we didn't have the right resources and we weren't in a position to utilize and maximize what comes from the land. So, um, a lot of that, you know, so it goes back to kind of some of the things obviously you spoke on.